The bear family includes the world's largest terrestrial carnivore, the brown bear, which can stand up to 11 feet meters tall. Bears have a heavy build, a large skull, thick legs, and a short tail. They are found throughout Eurasia and North America, and in parts of South America, mainly in forests. Unlike most carnivores, bears rely heavily on vegetation as a food source. Bears are either large or medium-sized, and males are up to 20% larger than females. Although the giant panda is one notable exception, most bears have a black, brown, or white coat, and many feature a white or yellow mark on the chest. Despite the fact that they have a keen sense of smell, bear's sight and hearing are less well-developed, and this is reflected in their large snout and small eyes and cars. Most bears have lost the carnassial, shearing, function of the molar teeth. Instead, the molars are flat with rounded cusps, making them effective tools for grinding vegetation. Bears have large, strong paws a single blow can often kill another animal and long, non-retractable claws. Compared with other carnivores, bears walk slowly and deliberately, with all five toes as well as their heels touching the ground, plantigrade gait. They can, however, move quickly if the need arises. When threatened or defending their territory, many bears stand on their back legs to increase their already considerable size. The majority of bears are agile climbers. The diet of most bears consists of a mixture of meat, including insects and fish, and plant material, from roots and shoots to fruits and nuts. Only the polar bear lives exclusively on meat, while the giant panda, which is sometimes classified in a family with the red panda and is occasionally grouped with the raccoon family, is almost entirely herbivorous. Because bears depend on plants more than other carnivores, they spend more of their time feeding. Most forage during the day. Many bears, especially those in cold regions, become dormant in winter. During this time, they retreat to a prepared den and live on reserves of body fat. This state differs from true hibernation, which involves a drop in body temperature. Cubs are often born during dormancy. Since they have no fur, the newborn cubs are highly vulnerable and benefit from the snug environment created by their mother's body heat. The American black bear is adaptable in habitat, but generally prefers forested country. Its powerful limbs and short claws tear open old logs to search for worms and grubs, and are also excellent for tree climbing, when this bear plucks fruits with its prehensile lips. The ears are larger and more erect than those of the brown bear, and it lacks a prominent shoulder hump. It sleeps in winter, which lasts up to six months in the north of its range. This bear may break into buildings or vehicles to obtain food left by humans, but it usually flees on confrontation. Similar to the American black bear in appearance and habits, the Asiatic black bear may spend up to half its time in trees. Its main foods include acorns, beech, and other nuts, fruits such as cherries, bamboo shoots and leaves, grasses, herbs, grubs, and insects such as ants. Where its natural forest habitat has been farmed and become fragmented, this bear may raid corn and other crops and, on occasions, has caused human fatalities. Eight months after mating the female gives birth in her winter den to one to three, usually two, cubs. The only truly tropical bear, the sun bear is an elusive, nocturnal, little-known omnivore of hardwood lowland forest. Its sleek, smooth fur varies from black to gray or rusty. It is paler on the muzzle, which is comparatively short. Its stocky, dog-like body proportions and small size have led to the local name of dog bear. The sun bear spends much time in trees, even sleeping in a rough nest of bent over or broken branches. It eats a range of fruits, shoots, eggs, small mammals, grubs, honey, another name is honey bear, and varied plant food. The sloth bear is distinguished by its long, rough fur, especially around the ears, rear neck, and shoulders. Color varies from black to brown or reddish, the muzzle is usually much paler or even white retractile foreclaws do not, in this bear, permit effective tree climbing. Like other bears, the adult sloth bear is usually solitary except during the mating season, June-July. However, brief groupings of five to seven bears have been observed, even without local concentrations of food to attract them. The female occupies a natural hollow or digs one and usually has two cubs, in November-January. The cubs stay in the den for two to three months, ride on the mother's back clinging to her long fur for another six months, 
and become independent after about two years. South America's only bear, and its largest land mammal after the tapirs, the spectacled Orandian bear is also the most arboreal of the family. Playing a prominent role in the folklore and mythology of many Andean peoples, its multitude of local names include Osoachupairo, Bromeliad Eating Bear, Uramateo, White Fronted Bear, Yanapuma, Black Puma, and Yukuku, after one of its rare vocalizations. The species once occupied habitats from coastal desert to high elevation grassland, but human presence increasingly limits it to cloud forests at 3,300 to 8,900 feet, 1000-2, 700m. Mainly vegetarian, its massive jaw muscles and cheek teeth grind the toughest plants. Low-growing plants, for example, are simply torn up and chewed, despite cactus spines or leaf barbs on Puya bromeliads. A common tree feeding technique is to edge along a branch, bending other branches to bring fruits within reach. These bears may also create a simple tree platform, 16 feet 5 meters, or more across, for feeding and resting. Most matings occur from April to June, but may happen at almost any time so that the birth corresponds with greatest food availability. The pair stay together for one to two weeks. The cub's eyes open at 42 days and they may leave the den, in a hollow among rocks or tree roots, by three months. The cubs stay with the mother for two years, learning about feeding methods, food types, and threats. As with other bears, the male plays no part in rearing the cubs and, if he encounters them by chance, may attack and kill them. Instantly recognizable as the worldwide symbol of conservation, the giant panda's own survival is still far from secure. It has a highly restricted diet 99% bamboo, using different parts of the 30 or more bamboo species, taking new shoots in spring, leaves in summer, and stems in winter. Carrion, grubs, and eggs are eaten when available. Normally solitary, the panda feeds mainly at dawn and dusk, and sleeps in a bamboo thicket. It marks its home ranges with anal gland scents, urine, and claw scratches, avoiding confrontation by using overlapping areas at different times. The female, four-fifths the male's size, indicates readiness to mate by moans, bleats, and barks, eleven distinct panda calls have been identified. Males gather, chase, and fight each other for the female. One to two cubs are born in a den in a hollow tree or rocky cave after 45 days gestation. Only 6 inches, 15 centimeters long, 35 eighths ounce, 100 g, in weight, the newborn cubs are nearly naked. The brown bear enjoys the widest distribution of all bear species and varies widely in size depending on its food and habitat. Large areas of open wilderness are important to its survival, which explains why populations can be found in isolated areas such as parts of Alaska and the Yukon, while habitat destruction in the rest of North America and Europe has seen a drastic reduction in its numbers there. The brown bear's distinctive features are its shoulder hump of muscle and long claws that help it dig for roots and bulbs. It can stand upright on its hind paws in order to identify a threat or a food source. Although mainly herbivorous, brown bears will readily eat meat when it is available. To avoid winter food shortage, they can den up in dugouts in hillsides, or in brush, for as long as six months, during which period the female also gives birth to her cubs. The lifespan of the brown bear is about 25 years in the wild and longer in captivity. Vine with the brown bear as the largest land-based carnivore, the male polar bear can weigh twice as much as a female. Its favorite habitat is a mix of pack ice, shoreline, and open water where seals are found. Some bears move 60 miles 100 kilometers, inland in summer and vary their diet with. Bird's eggs, lemmings, lichens, mosses, and carrion such as caribou and musk oxen. Mating occurs on sea ice in April-May. The pregnant female digs a den in snow or earth and gives birth to two cubs, range 1 to 4, from November to January. The cubs take solid food at 5 months, but are not weaned for another 2 to 3 years.